Hi, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create a picture plus quote slide in PowerPoint. The beautiful picture plus quote slide you will learn to create today looks like this. As you can see here, there is a picture that lends the context to this quote. And this quote could be anything. It could be about a person, about uh, a typical market scenario, or it could be a customer testimonial. It could be anything. As you can imagine, such a slide is highly useful in any business presentation. Now I'm going to show you how exactly to create this template from scratch. And I'm also going to show you some useful alternatives from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. So let us go to a new slide and let us start designing this simple slide. The first thing I do is always to create a shape that will hold the picture. So I'm going to select the uh, rectangle tool from Auto Shapes menu and I'm going to draw a rectangle and this is going to be the typical size of the photo that I'm going to put in and the photo is this one. Okay, so this is the holding area. Then I'm going to insert a photo to fill the space. Now my typical templates are usually made with a shape filled with picture but this time I'm going to show you a different technique that will come in quite handy if you're going to create the slide all by yourself. So let us go to insert and then let us go to pictures option and let us choose one of the pictures that can be uh, quite useful. In this case, I'm going to select the same picture that I used earlier, which is about a finance kind of a picture. I'm going to insert it and you can see that this is a fairly large picture. And I'm going to readjust the size slightly. So I'm going to uh, zoom out by clicking on this particular bar here, status bar. And then I'm going to ensure that the size is proper. So I'm going to hold the shift button down and I'm going to click and drag from the corner so that width wise it occupies end to end. Now you can see that this is the photo that is on top of the earlier one. Now I'm going to right click and send this to back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the photo first, hold the shift button down and then click on the shape that I had created earlier. And then let me go to the format tab under drawing tools. That is a contextual tab. Then let us go to merge shapes. And this time we are going to go to the option called intersect. Since we selected the photo first and then the shape, you will see that the part of the photo that intersected with the rectangular shape that I had drawn earlier is retained. So this is the first step. Now we have got our photo in place. If you want, you can always tone it a little down by selecting the photo, go to format paint, format uh, tool, go to color, and then maybe you can use a grayscale uh, option like this, saturation 33%. So that looks beautiful. The next thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the rectangle tool once again, and I'm going to draw a rectangle, and I'm going to reduce the size slightly so that this delineates the picture from the text portion. I'm going to slightly move it down so that there is a little bit of space available for uh, the viewers to see, and then I'm going to go to Shape Fill, and I'm going to select this gray color. Of course, you can always go to Eyedropper and pick up one of the colors that you see on the photo itself. Then let us go to Shape Outline and say No Outline. Now I'm going to make a copy of this, and then uh, press Control D to make the copy, and then move it all the way down so that we define the end part of the quotation as well, and we can always uh, make the width slightly lesser like this. Now we have got pretty much uh, the final result in place. Now let us go to the status bar and go to this option called fit slide to current window so that you can clearly see what I'm doing here. Then I'm going to make a circle so that it gives me, gives me some space to put my subtitle text. So let us go to auto shapes menu, go to the oval tool under basic shapes, hold the shift button down as I draw a fairly large circle. And this is going to be of the same color as uh, one of the colors that you see in the photo. So let us go to shape fill, go to eyedropper. Maybe I can select something very light like this one. Yeah, that looks beautiful. And let us give it a white colored outline. So let us go to white and then let us really increase the thickness. Yeah, that gives it a very beautiful uh, subtle effect. Then I'm going to add some text inside and let us uh, pick up the text box and I'm going to write your 
subtitle text yeah i need to do a bit of spelling correction here yeah that looks good now i'm going to change the font to something bolder so let us go to the font options here and i'm going to go all the way down and one of my favorite fonts is this one called to send mt condensed extra bold it is available in pretty much every computer because it comes as part of uh, microsoft uh, range and i'm going to increase the color, uh, the font size and then let me do a bit of readjustment and i'm going to place it here and yeah that looks good and maybe you can increase the size a little bit further as well yeah that looks good um yeah yeah that is nice and let us go to the center alignment and i'm going to place it somewhere here now we've got the subtitle text in place now we need to write our text here and i'm not going to show you how to write your text here i'm just going to pick this up uh, that will save some time for us and i'm going to go to the next slide and then i'm going to paste it so we've got our quote in place and to create the quotation marks here what i've done is i have added um, a simple text box here and i'm going to write the quotation marks so opening quotation closed quotation and i'm going to make a duplicate of this by pressing control d in the first one i'm going to just retain the open quotation and in the second one i'm going to choose only the closed quotation if you don't do this when you just use one uh, quotation mark almost all the time you will get just the open quotation if you want the closed quotation you need to do the way that i have done let us select both of these and let us increase the size to something really decent like say 96 and then now we can move this at the start and that gives a creative touch to it and then let us go here then that says that this is a quote and it can be a customer testimonial or it can be anything that you want the audience to read and now we have got a beautiful quote plus picture slide available in our presentation as you can see even though i am reasonably experienced with powerpoint i have taken a substantial amount of time to create this particular slide if you need to create the same slide yourself it might take a bit longer and if you are a business professional time is at a premium for you and why should you even care to design your own slides from scratch especially when you have options like comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle available readily off the shelf this bundle is a collection of more than 4020 premium powerpoint templates meant exclusively for the use of business professionals like you let us see some options of picture plus quote slides available in comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle this is one of the options you can see that we have got a very different kind of a treatment given here and you can of course replace this with your own text and you can also replace this photo with your own photo as well and all it requires is for you to replace the shape with a different photo so that is typically the way in which we have designed all our uh, picture based slides and this is another option you can see that there is this beautiful picture and you have this quote you can replace the photo or you can replace this uh, text and this one shows one picture and then we have multiple text options in case you want to use this format and we have another option and this is especially for your agenda slides you have one large photo like this and then each of the agenda items are presented in a very interesting way like this and another option is this one where we highlight three different photos this is especially useful if you want to showcase three different photos in your presentation slide and to replace any of these photos as i mentioned earlier all you need to do is to right click on this go to fill picture with a different picture and then your slide is ready and this one shows three images with captions and you can see that we have a very subtle and professional custom animation that is shown which shows the three pictures and their subtitle text and if you want advanced custom animation we have that as well you can see that we have four pictures and their explanations shown here first we show the picture and the explanation comes in and then we replace the picture and then the explanation comes in and then the third picture and then the fourth picture now the beauty of this is when you see it in slideshow mode the pictures automatically change themselves and the corresponding text and explanation comes uh, on cue now if you escape you can see that these are the pictures and this is not the view that your audience sees 
and this is designed in such a way so that it's much easier for you to replace this photo with any other photo of your choice once again you just need to go to shape fill go to picture and choose a different picture it is that easy to edit the templates from comprehensive all in one bundle and we have made sure that every type of template that you would ever require to make over your text based slides to clear and creative visual slides are already in comprehensive all in one powerpoint bundle all the templates that i showed you are from that bundle and i will leave a link to our comprehensive all in one powerpoint bundle in the description box below this video so please click on the link and explore more about this useful product especially if you are a business professional and as a thank you for watching this video this far i'm happy to invite you to our free email course called 25 creative powerpoint ideas this 5 day email course gives you 25 practical powerpoint ideas you can apply in your next business presentation you can join this free course by clicking on the link here so please click on the link enroll to this free course and i will see you inside the course thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one